What's up, tubers? So in response to my uh, <laughs> new uh, hobby or career as a spy for not yet in production cars, I have now gone back and uh, enlarged and brightened up the shadows on some of these photos to get us some more detail so we can speculate some more or approve or disprove some more. So let's go through these. This first photograph, I didn't even know I had the Defender in it. I was at some point on the trail and looked over and saw the San Juan Mountains and this epic view, and I just stopped and clicked a photo and figured I'd work it out in post later. But sure enough, I had the uh, two-door Defender on the rocks. This was my first glimpse when I got out of my FJ. And I knew it was a Range Rover of some type, but I wasn't quite sure until I walked around it and I'm like, okay, this got to be the new Defender. When I walked around to the back and I saw the spare tire mounted on the tail, I'm like, no, this is the new Defender because none of the other Land Rover stuff has a tire mounted up there. Now, if you look down below, you can see two tanks, one on the left, one on the right. The thing on the left is the muffler, because you can see the two barrels there on the left. The one on the right could possibly be the fuel tank, since that's where the uh, filler is right above it. Further enlargement shows the airbags on top of those lower control arms. And, of course, the retractable tow ball. Now, I, I don't know anything about defenders, but... I'm assuming maybe some of y'all by looking at this can see some styling styling artifacts from the past previous defenders. A couple of things that I've noticed on the back is uh, there's no hinges. On the FJ and on the Jeep 2, I believe, the hinges are exposed. Uh, even on my Ford van, the hinges were exposed, but they're not exposed here. Moving on to the hybrid. Hey, y'all know at any time you can just hit pause and freeze frame it and uh, look at the details yourself. So here's what I want to know as a non-Defender Range Rover person. What's up with that back window? Something's going on there with vents or louvers or something. They're doing a real good job of kind of not hiding it up. This is the front left of the two-door turbo diesel that I found first. I uh, brightened up the shadows and enlarged it so we can see a little bit of the front suspension. Now let's zoom in on the rear quarter panel and notice the flared fenders the fuel filler door on the American side, I'm guessing that's for the plug-in for the hybrid part of this. I have no idea what a hybrid even is. Uh, you got the parking sensors, and you can see the big-ass airbags sitting on the lower control arms. Also, notice the height between the tire and the fender. For a Range Rover, this has got to be off-road mode, I'm guessing. Zooming in even further... We can see those big ass airbags and I don't know anything about Land Rovers, but where's the springs? I also noticed that they got the uh, tailpipes nice and flush and tucked away to where it won't hurt the departure angle. Or if you were to grind on something, it's not going to mess up the tailpipes. Now with the hybrid driving away, I'm looking at the rear door. I'm wondering, does it swing in one piece like my FJ does? Or how would the top separate from the lower part like the Jeeps do? Everything is nice and smooth back there. No hinges showing anywhere. Here's a close-up of the roof line. And the uh, rear door, in case anybody can figure something out here. I 
All right, there goes the hybrid. One last close-up of the lower rear suspension. All right, man, that's it for now. I'm starving. I gotta go get something to eat. I uh, hope the enlargements helped you to confirm or deny any of your speculation on the new defenders. Uh, please hit subscribe, thumbs up, and leave comments, man. Let's talk. See you.